What's going on guys? All right, so I want to do a short video here on discussing about why you might want to wrap your car or why it's a good idea to wrap your car even. So as you can see this boat, I've removed all the decals. The blue that's right here, and this is a permanent gel coat in the, in the boat. The blue that's right here is the old or the original color of the actual boat while this around it has faded. So let's put it this way. If you, have an, if you have a car that's a few years old, depending on the climate that you're in, and you go to remove some badging or some, some decals from, let's say the trunk, because most cars have it on the trunk, you might see a color variation. So in my opinion, it's a good idea to wrap your car or full car because what you're going to do is you're going to prevent this from happening over time. Every year the, sun, the car sits out in the sun, it's going to fade in color. Now, unless you don't drive your car during the day and you always store it inside during the day and you only drive it at night, it's going to happen. So like I said, depending on the climate that you're in, it's going to vary on how quickly that happens. So this, a wrap will actually prevent this from happening. I would rather the wrap fade in a couple years than the paint fade in a couple years. See what I'm saying here? And you can always rewrap the car and have an original immaculate paint job underneath. This is why you see a lot of people doing like regular colors like gloss gray on you know on their car or gloss yellow or gloss red just really basic stuff because they like the color but they're going to protect their paint for the entire time that that's on there so it's not not everyone is always looking for a unique finish sometimes they just want a color a different color and we go with a different color and that color is going to protect the paint for the next few years while the wrap is on the vehicle it's going to protect it from from swirl marks, some stone chips, some, some scratching, and paint fading. So there's a, there's a lot of benefits and a lot of perks to actually wrapping your car. It's the whole thing. If you wrap just the roof, okay, sure. Then if you wrap the roof and gloss black, then the roof will not fade and the rest of the car will. Also, there's a big difference between vertical and horizontal surfaces. Vertical surfaces tend to fade not as quickly as horizontal surfaces. So your horizontal surfaces that are facing the sun most of the time are going to fade the, fade the quickest. UV light is infamous for drawing pigment out of things. You'll see it in storefront windows, you'll see it on, on other cars, you'll see it on your, your trim around your car and that kind of stuff. You'll see it everywhere. So keep your eyes peeled for when you are actually looking at things and trying to see that paint and colors do fade with sunlight. So the, the wrap is not gonna hold up against the sun if paint can't hold up against the sun. There's only so much that it can do and there's only so much anything can do. We can't actually warranty the wrap because just like the manufacturer doesn't warranty your entire paint job on your BMW or your Ferrari or your Lamborghini for the next you know, two, three, four years. They're not gonna warranty. If it fades, it fades. So that's the nice part about wrapping a car is that when, you, when, we, when we wrap a car, so let's say we do get damage on a front fender, all we have to do is replace the front fender panel. We don't have to actually blend in the door to the quarter panel, to the front fender, to the hood, all that kind of fun stuff that you normally have to do with paint, especially on an older car where the paint has faded over time. So just something to uh, keep in mind, why would you wrap your car? Is a great idea to wrap your car. Anyways, I'm gonna get to wrapping this boat right now. I'm gonna do some video on this and show you guys how, I, how it's done. I've all got it all set up and that's it. Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see what this boat looks like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, take care.